Okay, awesome. So what we're going to do next is now run this conversion ad. So um, scroll up, make sure all the text is there. We add it on the business page first, right? It goes here first, make sure that there's no um, grammar errors or, or anything missing here, because once we go and set up the ad, you can no longer change this part. Okay. So you always want to make sure that text is on point. Um, okay. The video is there. Are you looking to find and, I'm just reading it. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Hang on for a second. I don't want to. So now there's the post and we go straight into the ads manager and run that ad. Okay. So ads manager at the top, just work out of one because you have a couple of those tabs open. So let's go to the ads manager at the top, the tabs. Okay. One second. You mean like right here? Yeah. Close this out. Um, you just have two tabs open there at the top, ads manager. Oh, just I see what one. you're saying. Yeah, so just close one out. So the audiences okay. are good. Um, your custom conversion is set up. Now let's work out of that other ads manager. So go to the ads manager, click the three lines and go to ads manager. So done. And then three lines, ads manager. Okay, cool. So what we'll do now is set up a, a conversion ad. Um, and conversion ads, hit the green one, are for leads appointments or sales. Okay. So anyone okay, online, that's, that's right. You were saying that there were three tabs. I remember that three no, main tabs. The tabs. No, these are your, no, that's something completely different. Okay. What I'm referring to is the objective. So when you click on the green button, create, click on the green one, you're going to go to conversions. So conversions, the objective is to either capture lead, make a sell or get an appointment. That's conversions. So in your case, you're running an ad to capture leads. So you're going conversions. Okay, so now hit the blue one, continue. And then now we go into the three tabs. So now these are the three steps. So at the top, you always want to give it a descriptive title. So new conversions campaign, name it like to the left, to the right, to the right, the title at the right down. Okay, I see. Yeah, so this is your title. So when you're looking. This is not something that people publicly see though, right? No. This is just me, what I know. Yeah, this is all okay. internal. This is your ads manager. No one sees any of this stuff. Okay. So this right here could be, you know, buyer guide, buyer guide, first buyer guide ad or whatever's going to help you look at the dashboard and know exactly what that ad was. Video of me wearing a white shirt, like whatever, like name it whatever the hell is going to help you like. Okay. I remember that uh, you were mentioning this before. Okay. So then this would be, um, dash home loans first promo. And then in parentheses conversions. Okay. And that will be the case with with everyone that I that I run like what, whenever I set this up I always name it what I want to name it and then parentheses conversions yes on the Got first it. tab this is the first tab this is the campaigns okay so we three, three titles we're going to have this is tab number one this is title number one this is the objective conversions okay so categories hit that drop down and go down to housing you're going to go to you're going to do housing and credit actually do both of them head housing and credit okay cool so whenever you're running ads on the buyer's side yeah always go with these two you're always going to housing no matter what but when you're doing buyer guide versus seller guide ah uh, i remember credit. we didn't do this on the seller side yep. yeah okay. so credit yeah for sure and then and then next okay. okay so so that's tab one campaigns you chose you chose the objective, which is conversions, and you and 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 you and you and you, um, and you went special ad category, housing and credit. That's all you did, Got right? It. Tab one. That's all you did. Here's tab two. So now tab two, all you're doing is you're making sure that website is connected right to the blue dot. You're um, giving it a title. So new conversions ad set. Rename that. Give this a title. This is going to be now the title, and you're titling it based. You're titling it titling it based on the exact step we're on step two right now so what happens in this step we choose the budget we choose the location we um this is the part i remember now placement. like yes and and so, may, may i ask um you you had mentioned to me last time we were talking you said something to the effect of um 
that if they ever wanted to know what we were running, like how, how I was running the ad or who I was targeting, that this would be where that would be, right? Like that information. So like if, if I needed to share it with them, then I could, in theory, maybe do a screenshot or something of this part. No, you don't need to. You don't need to do any of this stuff for the, you're talking about showing, showing them what to what, the lender. Yeah. No, I'll show you that part. It's, it's not here. Okay. So the link at the end, I'll show you that part, but, but here at the top name it. So just name it. Um, again, it's based on this exact step. So if you scroll down, what are we doing in the step? Look at everything top to bottom, scroll through the whole thing. What are we doing? What are we doing here? We're, 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 we're going website. We're going pixel. No, no, no. Scroll down here in the middle, scroll down. Okay. Pixel, like go, keep going, keep going, scroll down. What are we doing here? We're, 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 we're choosing. There's the pixel. There's a custom conversion, but we're choosing the budget. We're mm -hmm. choosing the calendar. We're choosing the, the targeting, the location. That's what we're doing here on this second step. So name it. Okay. But the very, very top name it, name it that maybe, maybe go with the targeting maybe. And this is just a brief description. This is just this just allows you to know what ad this is like on this second step. So target, yeah. Um, target audience. Yeah. Dash home loans. Perfect. And then, and then maybe do, yeah. Dash home loans promo. Perfect. And then, and then maybe do the dollar amount. That's a little description of, of, of that'll let you know, okay, what, what ad set this was. That makes sense. Okay. So Okay, perfect. So now is this ad, is this full blown ad 500 or is this one ad going to be 250? So I'm putting in 250 and they're putting in 250 and they're going to, um, they're, I invoice That's for them. the month, right? That's for the month. For the month. Yeah. So, so on this I, ad, it's I'm not sorry. 500. So, but, but aren't I setting it up for 500? Cause they're going to be sending me their portion later it's 500 for the month no mm -hmm. matter how many ads you're running right mm -hmm. like i would think if you wanted to run seven different ads okay cool you're giving me 500 for the month i'm going to run seven seven different ads and, and 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 do what i do i wouldn't name it 500 on this one if i was running let's say let's say i was running five different ads i would name and this is ad number one i'd name it 100 because i'm only going to put 100 towards this ad but if you're saying you're going to put 500 towards this one ad, then cool, leave it at 500. But I don't but, know. If but you're would I be ad. running seven different ads no, though? No, but you'd be running two different ones, which is based on what I'm teaching you. Run one. Oh and yes, two and then and then retarget the audience. Yeah, I so see what you're be, saying. This would be 250 if you're running two a month, right? That, that makes sense. I'm yeah. just trying to get super descriptive on this title. That's all. Like if you put 500 there and and we had and, and it wasn't right? All 500 on this one ad, then that would just be a little off. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to, trying to help you get super detailed on the, on the, on the titling of this stuff. Um, so like initial opt-in and then the next one would be um, custom audience. No, Did that, that, that doesn't do with it. I'm talking about the dollar amount. Like what you're going to put down here, scroll down, scroll down. What dollar amount are you going to put on this one single ad? Are you going to put 500 on this one single ad? Or are you running multiple ads throughout the next 30 days? Because this one may not be the winner. This video might not be. The uh, I see what you're saying. Right? Yes. So, yeah. So I got maybe, it. Maybe you do 250 on this one. Right. I and see. Yeah. And then if we one. need to try, if we need to pivot, then this gives us an opportunity yeah. to do that. Yeah, okay. That's why I wouldn't have named it 500 at the top because it's not, it's got not it. 500 on this, right. So, so whatever, again, whatever you spend, whatever, whatever you're putting here on the budget, just title it. That's all I'm saying. Just give it that exact title. So you know exactly what, what, what this spend is, you know, um, that makes sense. So, so why don't you go lifetime, hit the daily budget, go lifetime, hit the drop down, lifetime, and then just, just go to um, maybe just put 250, run it for the next two weeks. And, and, and there's a 250 and see how this one pans out. And if it doesn't, then have that second video ready, right, ready to go right away on the 16th day and, or on the 15th day. You run this for 14 days and on that 15th day, you're either going to put out the second video and there goes 250 on that second one. Mm -hmm. And there's my 500 for the month, or mm -hmm. you're going to review this one in 14 days and it's actually working. So maybe then you'll come in here and you just, just keep going. 
extend the end date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. I think that's, yeah. that's, that's a perfect plan. And then, um, depending on, on how it's performing in the next two weeks, mm -hmm. I guess I could, uh, it, it just would I would I just swap out the the video in the same no, ad? No, no. Okay. No, if if it's going good, you don't. If it's going good, you can just extend the end date. Oh no, I'm saying if it's not performing, you turn it oh, off and you start yeah. off with a new ad. Brand new ad. Got mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Hit the green one. Create. You go create a whole new ad. Okay. Now what okay. what what's already set up is the custom audiences. What's already set up is the custom conversion. But what would need to be set up on a second ad is that new custom audience for the video if you're doing video. I see. Right? I see. I see. Yeah. But you wouldn't need to do the pages anymore. You're, you're done with the pages. Um, so you would just come in here. Yeah, this one flopped. Okay, cool. On the 15 day, it, 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 on the 14 day, it ended. Then, then go run the next ad. There's the next 250. Okay. That's that what, makes that's, sense. Yeah. So that's what I would do. I would... Yeah, you always want to review the ad to see if it if it sometimes people can run the same damn ad for months. I on my end, I see different ads and I see the same damn ad. Like I have there's one YouTube guy. He's literally have he's he's ran the same 2 minute video, the I same exact video for now going on probably 7 months. I was going to ask you is that commonplace for people to run the same ad over and over again? Yeah, it's it's just based on your offer. Like if you have a good enough offer and your and your video is 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 it's, it all starts with a free offer. Like that's where it starts, a free download. That's mm -hmm. where it starts. Like that's where the relationship starts. Right? So if you have a fr a good free download and your your video is compelling enough, then it converts. And, and if that's the case, then shit, you can leave that thing on for a while. Let it run. Yeah. Let it run for, for I've seen again, several months. That's amazing. Um, but again, not everyone hits a home run that fast. Like, mm -hmm. so you'll need a pivot. You'll need to change them out. You'll need to, you know, try new ads. Um, and that's all part of it. So yeah, you don't want to go 500 and just run this damn thing for 30 days. And and, and just leave it like you want to be able to review it in a couple of weeks. And that's what we'll do. So April 25th, change that date. Always go for the next day at 6 a.m. So it's always the next day at 6 a.m. And then just run it for run it for 14 days. Come on. And now you're going to edit over the United States. Just edit and then change out X out the United States. So edit. And then X out the United States and then hit the drop down. People living in or recently in, hit that drop down. Go people. And each one's different. So you, whatever you feel is more, you know, relevant. People living in this location or people recently in or people living in and recently in. I think living in and recently in. We have a, a, okay. a very densely populated yeah. transplant okay. community because of the military. So yeah. So perfect. So that top one's good. Um, and then just type in your location and, and just, just as I mentioned on, on the other campaign, you know, whatever location you're choosing here, stick with it. Like don't bounce back and forth, like just get one city and cover the whole damn city or, or, or one address and go 15 miles away from that actual address. Okay. But, um, but keep, is that it right there? Yeah. This is Woodbridge, Virginia. I mean, can I just put in just like the city instead of the, the, the actual location, this actual specific location? Yeah, try, try, try whatever. And then as you're typing it in, you're seeing the drop down. And so you got city, you got place, you got okay. address. So each one's a little different. So that's why you want to, you want to at least play around with it. And is that, is that it? I would. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm, I have, I have agents in Maryland Okay. and our license in DC too. So it'll cover all those states. Okay. So that's the title. So go to the very, very top Woodbridge 50. So go to the very, very top, the title that needs to be in there. So target audience. Um, it's not dash home loans promo. It's not, it's not any of that really. So in parentheses, you could just put, put the city Woodbridge. So target audience is Woodbridge 50. That's it. And then 250, that's it. That's that's a good title. So I can look at it on the dashboard and know exactly what location, the mileage, and the budget. Love it. Okay, that's it. So so 
scroll down. So we're good there. So that was that step two. That's it. So now scroll down. We got placements. We got the last part placements. Let's edit placements all the way down, all the way down, all the way down right here. Edit placements. So scroll down, go to manual placements. And we're going to, we're going to uncheck everything, uncheck Instagram messenger and audience network, leave Facebook. And then down below, you're going to, you're going to leave Facebook newsfeed, leave the marketplace, uncheck everything else. Video, video feeds, feeds all of it. Yeah, uncheck okay. all of it. Keep going down, uncheck all of that. You just want all your budget going into the newsfeed. Mm-hmm. So and stories and all of that and reels and everything. Not even, not none of that, really none of that. Okay. Actually, it's, yeah, none of that reels, none of that. Um, it's just all, all newsfeed. And this part, you can test a lot of, you could test this part. You know, one ad you can run at, you can run like this where you're manually ch- unchecking everything. Another ad, test it and maybe run automatic placement and see the difference in that. So, um, so well, this part's a form of testing, but based on what I've, how I learned and what I've learned is it's, this is the best targeting. So, okay. And how I run mine is all, all, all newsfeed. So next that's it. That's step two. That's it. Budget location. That's it. Calendar. That's step two. Here's the third and final step. So now, um, the title new conversion ad, you could just, whatever, put video up there. It's really, the titles are really important for the first two. The first two titles are really the most important. Um, so here we got our Facebook page there. Scroll down, add setup. Go ahead and hit that drop down, create ad on add setup to the left. Add setup, create ad. Hit the drop this down. This right here? No, no, no. Add setup down below. Okay, I see. Create ad, hit it. the drop down. Use existing post. Okay. Before we do this piece right here, mm-hmm. I realize that you tell me if you think this is okay. One of the, the parts of the ad says, there are a lot of tips out there, but these are the ones that every buyer needs. And then it says, click below to get your complimentary guide. And then it says, this is a buyer's guide. This is a buyer's guide with all the info you need to buy your next home. Click below to get your get your comp- complimentary guide. Do you think that level of redundancy is... is, no, is not at all. Keep it? Good question. Yeah, keep it. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's good. That's good redundancy, actually. Okay. So right here, select post. Add creative, slow, yeah, low, 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 lower, select post, and then find that post, and then continue. So right there, click, continue. Okay, perfect. So now that post is there, and now scroll down, and we're going to add the the button, add button. So get your, your link for your um, Kartra page, your landing page, and you're going to add it there. It's going to be for the thank you page or the no, initial opt-in the page? opt-in page. The opt-in okay. page is the learn more button. And it's the first, it's no, the, the whole, whole thing. You can get the whole thing. Yeah. Just okay. double click, copy the whole thing. Okay, cool. So copy that, paste that in over there. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Add button. Learn more is, is fine. Paste, update, post. And then scroll down. So we always want to make sure that select a domain. So scroll down, tracking right here, select a domain. So hit that drop down, select a domain, and then just choose your green dot. Choose your domain. Okay, perfect. And that's it. So now we publish. And now that ad will go into review and you'll receive an email from Facebook within the next few hours. Okay. And Um, then this gives me time to get their finance guide and plug that in. Yeah, you definitely, definitely need, need, need to do that. Like by tomorrow, but hopefully you can get it. Yeah. Now, hopefully, yeah. Get it. Yesterday. <laughs> and if, and if you can't, then you'll want to come into the calendar and, and change that date. Um, okay. Start um, so yeah, when I need to do that, am I just, I'm just coming back to this page right here where we, when, when this when no, not, 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 not necessarily when this I'll show you where. When this sticks like this, the blue publishing 103, one of three, one of three got stuck. So X mm-hmm. out the top left, X out of this little window here. And then now refresh this page. Okay. And so actually, wait, 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 wait. Hit Oops. Can, can sorry. I'm sorry. I think I might have. Okay. What did I do? So now hit the review and publish three at the top right. Okay. Push it through. 
So publish the green one. Got it. Okay, that you'll do that when when it gets stuck at the bottom. Publishing three of three, it needs to go green. So if it's stuck at blue, then then do then refresh it and then click on that blue button at the top right. So now now you're good. So now if you hover over, watch, click on the campaign tab. These are your three tabs: campaigns, ad sets, ads. These are your three tabs. This is what we just went through. So when you look at it from the dashboard view like this, I can see that title and know exactly what ad that is. I don't have to click on it. I don't have to touch it. I can just read dash home loans first promo. Yep. That makes right. sense. And right. is this where I would click to change the date? I think I almost out of, out of being conservative because it's so late in the day and I don't know what I'm going to hear from her yeah, I that I should make the ad live yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah. So where can I it, change that? So is it the campaign tab on where, on where we chose the calendar? Yeah. It's a campaign tab? No, maybe not. Oh my gosh. We just went through these three steps. Mm. Ad set. The ad set is the second step where we chose the calendar, the budget. Oh, yes. The targeting. Yeah, that was step two. So edit. Okay. Now you can do all of this editing before the ad goes live. If that ad goes live, don't touch anything. Okay. If you messed up on the text, if you messed up on the on, on, on the calendar, turn it off and start a whole new ad. Okay. So, so yeah, that's why knowing this shit prior is so important because you don't want to touch it once it goes live. Now Got you it. can mess around with it now, but but not when it goes live. Okay. So, so if I were you, I'd probably push it out even further, but it's up to you. If you know you're going to get that thing by tomorrow, then okay, cool, whatever. But if you don't know, then maybe push it out, push it out to, to Friday, if, if anything, like it's up to you, but, but then you need- But then the state needs to change as well. Yeah, change that out. Okay. 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 So Let's now, so now, so now, so X out in the top left, uh, don't go to publish. Oh, publish. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Publish it. And then, and then, um, yeah, publishing one of one and then it'll turn green and you're good. So now, okay. now X out top left X out of this little, little window here. So now click on the third tab to the right ads. So, and then edit um, right below the title. So if I want to send them the actual link for the ad, I can just do it this way. So hit share. This, this is how I would do it. They don't need to see the dashboard, mm. they don't need to see any of this shit. All they care about is the ad. Well, they, well, I take that back. They probably care about the numbers and all that shit too, but, but that's not, that's not, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let them like micro freaking manage. Yes. I agree with you. Like, I yeah. completely agree with like, that. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's why to tell you the truth, like just to keep it real with you, that's why I stopped taking on monthly clients mm -hmm. because now in this case, they're paying you money monthly. So they're going to be asking questions all the freaking time. And that's how mm -hmm. clients are. Like, that's just how we are in general. If I'm paying you monthly, it's like, shit, bro, I'm going to be, you're going to be hitting hearing from me every day. Wow. Yeah. So that's why. Like, and that gets, that gets a little overwhelming it gets sometimes. Overwhelming, like, for sure. For sure. Because everybody wants to know about every little fine detail. It's like, bro, like, no, dude, that's not your concern. Like, this is what I do. Let me do what I do. Mm -hmm. You're paying for the, for the, for the, for the overall service, not for how I do it. Right. Unless, right. But again, that could be, you could word that differently, but, <laughs> but, but here, here's what I was like, I'd hit share, like I, I'd hit share the drop down, hit that drop down, and then get the link. So hit the, oh, share. this one right here. Yeah. yeah. Share a link. I would okay. just share this link. I'd copy and then I could just send, Hey guys, take a look at the ad. It's live. Click here. Yep. Like that's, that's perfect. I would do it. Like I would just, and then I'm hit send that to myself. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Send it to yourself. Hang on. Just going to type myself a little quick, a little blurb. Hit the share, hit the drop down, and go to de Facebook desktop newsfeed at the bottom, Facebook desktop newsfeed. And then this is just a live view um, of the ad. So if you just scroll down, it should be right below Justin. So scroll down. Come on. Why are you stuck? There it is. I see it. There Very is your, cool. your new ad. See, so that's why on desktop, it's just an eyesore because the black borders. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that's just what we look, how, how it looks on desktop. But if it was mobile, then it would be full, full screen of that video. 
Um, but I would do horizontal, like from this point on, do, do horizontal, hold the phone, you know, side to side. Okay. Um, and even with in, in the ad setup, we, we could have only ran it to mobile, right? Where oh. People on desktop don't even see it, mm. you know? but then that's just narrowing. Then you limit. Down. Yeah. You limit your lead potential that way. Yeah. You just narrow, narrow it down. So, but in the future, yeah, try to do horizontal. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's how I would share the link. Um, and that's the, that's, that's the full-blown Facebook conversion ad. So any, any questions on that? No, no, it. It's it's helpful to see it again. So the click more on learn more. I, the more and more I see it, the more it makes sense. Awesome. So now we come straight to the page, and there it is. There. Yep. And then right now, this is the way it is. They click here to download. So do yeah. I need to put their finance guide in here in this button? No. T that is in the email, so that goes in the email. The link for their and, and I'll show you to that part, but this verbiage needs to be changed as well. It's not a seller guide, right? So, did you catch that? Okay, so um, yes, I, I can I can change the verbiage, but I'm yeah. saying this button right here, this blue button, isn't this the button that needs to have their finance guide in there? No, that's that's the button that they that they click to enter their information. Then they get taken to the thank you page. And then, then that's the button that that's where they're going to get there. The email, their finance guide. the email, the email, the email, the link is in the email. Okay. So the, right. the, the, in the first email, the initial email sequence in, in the yes. sequence that I have. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So go back to Kartra. So you'd have to upload that file. So close this out. My memberships to the left files at the top. Got you. And so then it's embedded inside, inside of the first initial email. Click on files. So this link, that's what goes in the email. Okay. So you just simply click on that link to the right, copy the link, and that can go in a button in the first email. Got it. Got click it. On link, click on the link to the right. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I was going to go and fix that seller's page while I remember, but. Okay. But the uh, link is right there. So you know how to yes. get it, right? Yeah, yes, so, I do. Okay, cool. So that's a conversion ad. Okay. 